How's it going guys and welcome my name is Akip Jupiter and this is going to be the first Genesis guide and what you're going to be looking at to do on the map. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys welcome to the video let's go ahead and get started so uh, these are a couple of things that I just wanted to sort of specify so people understand how the game works. Uh, these are where minions spawn straight off the bat. Uh, it kind of counts down to when the minions spawn, so you can keep an eye on that. Uh, it takes minions a little while to get here. The jungle camps will spawn as soon as that timer uh, starts at one second, uh, which is uh, one of the reasons why we're going to be doing and talking about um, an interesting thing that I've decided is what my five stack is going to be doing uh, pretty much every game. So first off, everyone knows that you send two top, two bot, and mid lane into mid lane. Uh, people have been sending uh, also one top, which is end up, and this ends up being solo lane here. And then over here you have dual lane, and the jungle is kind of in the jungle. But one of the things that I would actually say to do differently is actually to send solo lane, bot lane, and jungle into the jungle. This basically means that you still have two bot lane, and you still have two top lane. However, um... Because top lane has a carry and a support in it, your support's going to be able to sort of run back here and stack this camp, which is Wraith Camp. Wraith Camp is pretty important, uh, which we'll go over at a later time. Uh, so because minions spawn here, uh, your mid laner is going to start here and they're going to hold back the minions. I would also say that uh, support and carry also start here so that they can... Uh, block the minions as well but solo side is uh you know what actually might be pretty good for solo side <laughs> to also body block the minions however there's going to be a thing where solo is going to be able to leash the lizards for jungle to take straight off the bat uh jungle takes lizards really early and then goes into the uh flower deeds uh right after for a decent amount of experience before then going to redbacks which are here uh butters spawn here they're going to be the most uh you know they're going to grant you the most amount of gold in this sort of box here uh, and so once you kind of have your solo lane down here he's going to be pretty safe he's going to start his lane here as opposed to starting his lane all the way up here. Uh, this is why I'm sending solo bot lane, just because your jungler is almost always supporting whatever is in this lane, and uh, if, with your solo top lane, there's literally absolutely no uh, no way people are gonna be rotating to help out your solo laner here. He's just gonna die against a duo lane and a jungler all of the time, uh, losing the experience, losing the gold, not able to stack wraiths uh it's just a useless thing to do and and sending your solo in your top lane I, I just i really hate doing that so what my five stacks are going to start doing is sending duo top solo bot for those reasons mid lane uh, a couple things for mid lane you just don't want to have your minions in this box you want to either have them here or you want to have them here if they're here uh, you clear them safely and wait for your jungler to gank. If they're here, you back up and you stack these two camps. Uh, that's pretty much the main thing about mid lane. It's really simple, but it's also very important. Also, mid laner is going to want to start putting your wards here whenever your minions are pushed, and only when your minions are pushed is it safe to put a ward there. Uh, and it's literally the second the minions go over there, you place a ward and you back up and you and you stack the camps. Um, for solo lane, uh, the sectoids are going to grant you a decent amount of gold and experience. I recommend you uh, try and have those set up as much as possible. The jungler should be ganking pretty often, uh, just because it's literally a 1v2. Each time the jungler comes in to do a gank at level 6, there's a potential to get a kill. and uh, you know, it's just really important that you, you try and uh, help out your solo laner as much as possible in that lane. Especially because the sooner you take out their lane here, you can take this tower and have access to their Wraith Camp. Uh, that's the main thing about solo lane that you're going to want to start doing 
as much as possible now. Uh, as you've heard, I did mention this several times about stacking Wraith Camp over here with your dual lane, but pretty much this dual lane is going to try and, and combat for the energy orb and sectoids as well as they want to keep stacking their Wraith Camp. That's about what that is. The, the uh, solo lane is going to have to defend against that. The jungler is basically going to be covering this camp over here, this uh, energy cube over here. The mid laner is also able to cover the energy cube. However, you want to make sure you do that with your dual lane because sometimes the jungler just comes in here and picks it up and he'll literally be able to kill you. And if the mid laner is here, you've got no safe place to go to. So just be careful about doing that. Um, their bot lane uh, is their top lane, which is important to note. Uh, so make sure that if they are sending their solo here, uh, you know you can you, you basically have a pretty good setup. Uh, and if they send their dual lane up here, your dual lane is going to be able to, to fight them up here, and uh, they're more apt to uh, fight off the jungler as well. So that's just a couple of thoughts on. Uh, what I think the meta is going to evolve into. It's a really cool meta. I'm really, really excited to see what you guys come up with. Uh, this is kind of just a more general guide covering how the map works, covering what you're going to want to do at, you know, the first second, and uh, covering what the jungle is going to want to do. As I said, you're going to start at uh, the lizards, go over, to, uh, go over to the flowers, take out redbacks, uh, come over here for insect toys, and do a gank. That's pretty much it. Uh, every... Uh, even minute you're going to want to come over here and stand here uh, for whenever the energy spawns and then you're going to go back to jungling uh, same thing on this side dual lane is going to want to uh, cover this stack insectoids and stack wraiths uh, and that's every minute uh, the energy spawns every uh, even minute so uh, just keep that in mind for whenever you're playing. These little tips here and there uh, are kind of just what people are sort of learning as they're playing more and more Genesis, and, and people are starting to implement a little bit more of these things. So if you were falling behind or you're just now getting into Genesis, I really hope this guide helps you guys out. Um, I will be doing a more in-depth guide uh, with some of my palos later on. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck. See you. Bye.